And I already showed you a quick preview of this in our improved configuration editor. Uh, there's basically three big things that we've edited, which literally all come from your feature requests. And that's uh, really, I want to mention, I want to use this time to mention your ISD feature requests are super important. They really drive a good bit of our improvements that we make. And so, to name three examples here, you have opened tickets with us to enable multi-line editing of Golden Configs. You've enabled, uh, you've added tickets for us to add Ginger 2 support for variables in Config Editor, and you've added tickets to say we need to show the native config that's pushed to devices with all variables resolved, uh, without all the info error compliance um, stuff. And those are exactly the three things that we've done in the configuration editor. So if you see that here, I have a standard iOS config here, and what you can do is you can literally use that as a text editor. So you can say, oh, I don't care about this interface. I can just select all lines here and say, ignore this for my next compliance check. And again, it's an active development. We develop, uh, we're working on the solution right now to color code this better to have this ignored. Uh, right now we're using a flag here. Um, but you can use that as a text editor. So you don't care about the spanning tree or you want to change it, uh, delete it, write something else and add a variable. And you can just do that as, as I am while typing right now. Um, we have the same variable support, but we've added Ginger 2 support. Um, if you think this is really important config here or here your AAA, this is really important, you can mark that as an error in your compliance report rather than just a warning. So um, we basically, we have now a full text editor where you don't have to click into each line and into each field to change something, but we have kept the, we, we've extended the flexibility, but kept, kept the feature set of doing specific compliance checks on whatever configuration you want. Of course, you can still add uh, import configuration from um, from a device, as well as in our new world with the modern network devices, uh, not modern network services, you can also import uh, configuration from um, from a VPC, for example. 